Hey friends, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to my channel DIY Savvy Mommy and welcome if you are new here. I am Kshitej and I love making art, DIYs, home decor and lifestyle videos. And today I am sharing two beautiful glam coastal DIYs. So let's begin with the video. This is an inspired video from a very creative YouTuber Jessica Lynn at home and I'm going to mention her channel and the video that I'm inspired by down in the description box to check it out. For the first DIY I'm making a glam seahorse sign and this is inspired by Jessica from the channel Jessica Lynn at home. It was previously called measure and mix and I've been watching her channel since almost a year. She's absolutely amazing. She used Dollar Tree seahorse uh, sign and also gemstones but I since I don't have a Dollar Tree nearby so I sketched the seahorse all by myself on a cardboard. Then I painted it with sky blue chalk paint and let it dry and once it was dry I also took three painter sticks and I glued three of them together and this is going to be the base that I am going, going to use for the seahorse. Jessica decorated her seahorse with uh, gemstones and I wanted to add a uh, more of a sparkle and bling touch to it so I used beads, shells, pearls, rhinestones and mirror cut cutouts you can use whatever and however you like and you can make it a very farmhouse coastal kind of DIY um, you can make it quite distressed or you can just make it if you want uh, how Jessica made it both of my today's uh, DIYs are inspired by Jessica's uh, DIYs and I have linked her videos in the description box below in case you want to check out her version of DIYs. So this is how my bling and glam seahorse looks and uh, now I'm going to just glue it on top of the palette that I created out of painter sticks and uh, to add uh, a more of a coastal and farmhouse touch i wrapped some twine on both the ends of the uh, palette that i created like so And finally to complete the look I added gemstones. I displayed them in the form of a flower and I added a pearl in the center and this is how the entire look of the a farmhouse coastal and glam coastal DIY turned out. For making the sign hang, I made a small loop out of twine and glued them together uh, to one end and this will help me hang, hang the sign. This is how my seahorse turned out. Let me know in the comment section below how you liked it. Let's move on to the second DIY and before that let me tell you about the challenge. 
Today I'm participating in the Try Tuesday challenge hosted by Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs and Christy from Christy Creates DIY. Both of them are amazing creators and I've linked their channels below in the description box. You would love their creative content. Also check out the playlist that I've mentioned in the description box for other creators and how they create their videos. And this challenge is basically about uh, getting inspired from anyone and any of their DIYs and trying to recreate it and uh, making it an exact uh, copy or making it a slightly changed or different version of yours. So uh, for the second DIY also I'm trying to recreate what Jessica created. I'm making a coastal lantern and for that i took a mason jar and i wrapped some nautical rope at the neck of the jar to make the handles i took a small portion of the nautical rope and i also took some metallic tape and covered the edges of the rope uh, so that it doesn't open up and then i glued it to the jar and this makes the handle this also gives a slightly metallic finish to the jar which already looks very glam To decorate the lantern I first took a white pillar candle and I dusted uh, glitter on top of it with the and glued it with the help of uh, glue stick and this slightly gives a sparkly effect to the candle and uh, this looks amazing when it when the candle is lit and uh, next to decorate the jar more I added some geolite rocks gemstones and uh, the glitter candle And this is how my beautiful coastal lantern turned out. Let me know in the comments below how you liked it. And this is the version that Jessica made. Let me know in the comment section below how you like both the DIYs today and which one was your favorite. Also, if you enjoyed watching today's video, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.